Hello people, in this video we want to look at the causes for pancreatitis. Okay, just the causes we are going to look at in this video. Of what? Of pancreatitis. So what is pancreatitis? Pancreatitis is inflammation of the pancreas with asinine cell injury. Okay, this is what is the definition according to the textbook. It's the inflammation of the pancreas. So pancreatitis or the inflammation of the pancreas. So what are the causes? That's all we want to look at now. So there are two types of pancreatitis, either acute or chronic. Acute means suddenly it will get inflamed. Why? That could be because of alcoholism and cholithiasis. Cholithiasis, cholithiasis means what? Gallstones, right? These are the main two causes. Gallbladder stones can be a cause or alcoholism can be a cause, okay? So basically, other than this, what are the causes? That can be because of trauma, ischemia, right? Shock, inflammation, virus, bacteria, lot of drugs like uh, thiazides, sulfonamides, oral contraceptives. There can be hypothermia which can be a cause. Hyperlipoproteinemia, hypercalcemia can be a cause for pancreatitis, acute pancreatitis. Some people have it as a familial uh, uh, pancreatitis. That means because of the genetics, the hereditary. And some people, they don't even know the cause, so they will call it as idiopathic pancreatitis. So these are the causes of acute pancreatitis. Here you should know alcoholism and cholithiasis, two words you should write. Other than that, write trauma, bacteria, virus, shock, ischemia, etc., etc., family, idiopathic, etc. Now moving on to chronic uh, pancreatitis, what are the causes? Because this is going to be uh, repeated attacks. Because of repeated attacks, there can be chronic pancreatitis. Repeated acute attacks can lead to chronic pancreatitis. Here chronic alcoholism has been mentioned. Familial again, hypercalcemia again. So same things are mentioned here. Biliary tract disease also can be a cause of chronic pancreatitis. Remember here, they are also mentioning the developmental failure of this uh, pancreatic duct. If, is the, if there is some failure of fusion okay, of the dorsal and the ventral pancreatic duct, that can lead to chronic pancreatitis. So is this much clear guys? So in this video, we just looked at the causes of acute pancreatitis. So standard things you will write are alcoholism, cholithiasis, uh, trauma, ischemia, right? then uh, bacteria, virus, then certain drugs like thiazides, uh, sulfonamides, familial pancreatitis can be there and unknown that is idiopathic pancreatitis can happen. When it's coming to chronic pancreatitis, there can be progressive destruction of the pancreas because of repeated attacks of acute pancreatitis. Here they are blaming chronic alcoholism. Chronic alcoholism is the main thing you have to write here. Then you have to write biliary tract disease. You can write familial, again they are mentioning. Then hypercalcemia, hyperlipidemia and developmental failure also. Some developmental problem here they are mentioning. That's all to do with chronic pancreatitis and acute pancreatitis. We just wanted to look at the causes, the etiology we have seen now. Okay, bye-bye.